Hi, my name is Alex with Tech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how you can add a diagramming tool to Confluence so that you can capture important diagrams like process diagrams, org charts, whatever kind of graphical diagram that you're trying to create. Confluence actually has the ability to help you create, capture, share all these different diagrams with your team. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into Confluence. All right, so over in Confluence, you are gonna to need to be some sort of a site admin to be able to do this. We'll click on the gear, and we're going to come down here to find new apps. Now, if you just put diagrams, which is what I'm gonna put in here first, you'll be able to see that there's a bunch of different diagram tools. So the most popular ones are draw.io. You can see that there's 60,000 installs. We have Gliffy. I've used this before, 20,000 installs. And then we have Lucid Charts. So Lucid Charts is a connector here because you do, Lucid Charts kind of builds things weird, but you do kind of have to go to Lucid Chart and then come this way. But as you can see, very, very popular with almost 30,000 installs as well. Now Lucid Charts is quite expensive. So we're not going to talk about lucid charts, but it is the most powerful one in my opinion. So if you're looking for like raw horsepower and like you want just all the features, lucid charts probably going to go your way. But Gliffy and Draw.io are the ones for just your casual diagramming that you need. Now this one, I'm just going to show you the pricing real quick so you can kind of see some pricing because functionality from a feature perspective, Draw.io and Gliffy is kind of almost pretty much the same. I'm just going to pick Draw.io just because it has the most amount of installs, but feel free to come in here, put the number of users that you have. And so you can see that this one's gonna cost you about $3.30 per user. If we come over back to draw.io and we put the same 200 users, you can basically check and see how much this one's gonna cost you. And so let me see how much this costs. For, two, for the same 200 users over here, you're looking at $125, so 63 cents. So you can see it's a drastic difference. Um, but feel free to try them both out. Um, for me specifically, I literally have a team of one, so it's going to be free either way. And so just your mileage is going to vary. But again, for this example, we're going to go with draw.io. It's the one that I'm most used to. It's obviously the most, um, the most uh, popular one because as you saw, 60,000 installs. So I'm just going to get this set up in my instance here. And then we'll jump into it and get started. All right, so once draw.io is installed, all you need to do is go to your create button and you're basically going to start a new page. Now, the only difference is when you come to your macros up here, give it a title here. So this is going to be my first diagram. And when you come into actually to the body of the page that you're going to do, you're going to click on this little insert and you're going to click on view more. And now you should be under visuals and images. You should now see that you have the ability to embed one or draw one or insert one. So I'm just going to, I always click on this one. So I'm just going to click insert a new draw.io diagram and click insert. And once you do that, you kind of get redirected to the draw.io interface and then call this whatever you want. But keep in mind that you probably want to call them the same thing. So my first diagram, and then you get to pick. There's a lot of templates for you to choose from. I'm just going to pick a blank one and then you, if you've ever used Visio, this is pretty much a Visio. So now you can start dragging in shapes and you can draw a couple of these together. Maybe you're doing some sort of a decision tree. And so you can draw these, line them up and then you can connect them. So when you hover over, you can draw your little arrows so that you can essentially start creating your flow diagrams. You can double click into it like thing one and then thing two works. Right, and then so now you can basically create these diagrams. When you do this, you wanna click publish. Once you have something, you'll click publish on that. And then you have to do another publish yet again because that was for draw.io to bring it back to Confluence. So not from Confluence. So then you gotta, you gotta hit publish one more time so that that diagram then becomes available to your page and then you can share it with your team. And so once you have this, this is now something that you can share with the rest of your team. Everybody can look at it and basically do whatever they got to do to it. And so to edit it, you do want to click on the pencil again, and then you want to come in here and you want to click on this pencil. And when you click on that pencil, it'll redirect you to the draw.io interface. Then you can do whatever modifications you're going to do. 
maybe you want to do a decision if you go whoops if you go yes or no you'll basically make a different decision so you can also double click on these so like this one's yes this one's no and uh, you can again be very creative with your diagrams do whatever you got to do with it but i just like that it's a super simple interface all you got to do is hit publish brings it back to confluence and then from confluence you just publish your page and your changes are saved and so this allows you to basically a picture is worth a thousand words and when you're trying to describe something complex like a process workflow or any workflow or any process for that matter not having a diagram becomes really really challenging to explain the value of what it is you're trying to explain and so with this picture you can essentially articulate in a very visual way what you're trying to explain and it's a pretty inexpensive thing because your alternatives are like you saw Gliffy at three dollars a user lucid chart i know is much more expensive than that any uh, already and then you have other tools like visio that really just run on your computers and application that you install and so not always accessible to everybody and uber uber expensive right and so draw.io is a cheap alternative that basically everybody in your confluence can now start drafting start articulating their thoughts a little bit better a little bit more clear add some color add some pizzazz and trust me, just if you're not, if you don't have a diagramming tool that you want to enable a diagramming tool to drastically improve your communication. And yet another reason why you should use Confluence as well, right? Because Jira is really, really good at tracking that work, but sometimes you got to explain something. Sometimes you want to explain how to do something, how a story should be done. Maybe the, like, the logic of here's the code logic of what it should do, this, that, and that. And so you can create a page where you have a diagram, explain the logic of what your code, of what the code design should do, or at least the functionality of that code, what it should do. And then you can embed this page back into that story. And now your developer has something concrete, something that's a whole lot easier to interpret than just written text. So if you aren't using this kind of a functionality, recommend you give it a go, try it out at the very least. I mean, it's not that expensive, right? What was it? 60 cents a user. So give it a go. I'm not sponsored, not sponsored by draw.io, but I will be tagging draw.io in this video when I publish it. So um, hopefully in the future, draw.io, if you guys are listening, love to work with you in the future. And um, yeah, so give it a go and let me know in the comment section below. And if you made it this far and you're not subscribed, make sure you are subscribed. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment sections, where you want to go to and of course make sure you drop a like thanks and i'll see you in the next one it's only worth it if you work for it it's only worth it if you work for it i won't stop till they hear me now